I was there. I was one of them. That's why I can tell you why you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, and you don't like what you see. I was a lucky boy. Since I was my mother's she's a photographer, since I was five, I knew exactly what I would like to do in the rest of my life, to be a fashion photographer. After serving in the army, I want to become international. I went to study in the States. I was 25. I became famous very fast. And then when I was 26, I had already three studios. It was the 80s. I shoot catalog, covers, beauty queen. I started shooting for the biggest modeling agency in the world. It was the beginning of the 90s. I was shooting in Paris when Ken Klein decided to present his new face, Kate Moss. I was there. She was really, really amazing. But she was too skinny. Bones are showing. Mr. Klein said that she raised his income by 450%. Will someone like Kelvin Klein say something like that? Everybody is listening. All the way back to the apartment, I was thinking about what I saw. She was really amazing, but she was at least two, three sizes than the other top models like Claudia Schiffer, Linda Evangelista, Cindy Comfort. A few days after, I went to shoot a bear fashion show. When I came down to the makeup room, I saw two rows of the models face to the mirror, but it looks like line of bones. I thought it's the light, but it wasn't. On the stage, the producer screamed on the girls, walk like a guy, don't walk like a woman. I looked on the stage and I saw a stick between the legs that tried to walk like a guy. In the break, one of the girls, beautiful Jasmine, one of the models, asked me just a piece of my sandwich, something like that. She started eating and then their agent called her and started screaming, how dare you eat? You have a big audition on Thursday. She started crying. In that month, everything has changed. They changed the cover, they changed the catalog, all the magazine, balls showing everywhere. But I was one of them. I used to say, you're pretty, you have to lose weight. But I didn't imagine that to say to someone to lose a few pounds is to send her to die. With this message, I went to the national TV. It was Friday night. Sunday morning when I came back to the studio, I got 170 message. Had he helped me? I asked my secretary, cancel all the appointments about modeling. I want to see the first 20. 70 girls and women and three boys. All of them said just one thing. We want to be pretty. What is pretty for you, I asked. I did look at the poster, at the studio poster, at the studio wall. And they said, that's what I mean, a good looking Addy. You want to be like the poster? The poster is not real. We're using tiny, tiny girl every season. And we're taking the Photoshop. Now, the Photoshop made to fix the light, to fix the makeup. If we have a little problem with the clothes, not to change the genetic body, not to change the body genetic, not to cut size. You can't be like in the poster. I went to the Ministry of Health. They didn't take me seriously. Adi Balkan, epidemic, fashion. So I knew I have to change the industry by myself. So I wrote a law. A law may mean we can't shoot modern if she's less than 18.5. Something like that. And we can't use the Photoshop to cut size. I tried to pass the law in 2003. It was election. So I opened a new profit organization in 2005 in the name Simply You. But in 2007, when one of the models died in my hands, I left the hospital. And the smell was so strong. And I swear to God, and I promised to myself that nothing can stop me. Nothing. Until I change the industry, I will never stop because we're going to save millions. Now, 2007, after she died, I have another three years to spend, but I was lucky. I met Dr. Rachel Adato. She was a member of the Israeli parliament, and she said just one thing, Adi. If we can prove that the law is going to save life, we're going to do it. <laughs> I have all the proofs. Let's do it. We're going to save millions, tens of millions. It took like two years. But the law passed in 2012. And after... <laughs> and the law... 
and the law, and we are the first one in the world. French, a few weeks ago, the same law like our law passed the first step. That's mean revolution, man. Yeah. And now, what we can do, how we can change. We deserve to wake up in the morning and to love our body. The, the, the fashion design prefer that all of us will come in one size. Now, to take the law and to try to pass it in each country is going to take a long time. Too much. Here came the idea, the standard mark. Like the rabbit and the shampoo, the company decided if they are not using animals to testing for their product, they got the, they got the, um, exactly. Now, <laughs> now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to save life, but first, we deserve to feel good. How we can do it? Very simple. Now, just one thing. Why the fashion industry, why the fashion company are not making all the size in the same store? You know why? It's not sexy enough. They want all of us will come in one size. It's not normal. From now on, just real. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.